Okay guys, let's talk about green screen. Now for green screen, I use two methods. The first one is chroma key and the other one is delta key. So chroma key, I use it whenever I'm working with something like this, as you can see in the footage, a video mockup where we have to remove the screen of a phone, of a laptop, whatever it is. So I'm gonna put my clip on top like this and just for fun, I will import the CarDB clip wap. Here we go. I'm going to put it, hold on. I'm going to first double click, make a selection like this and like this. There we go. Put it behind the first clip. Then I'm going to cut a little bit because we don't need the whole thing. And then it just work with this part. I'm going to click on the first clip and remember we are doing chroma key. So go to the color tab. Let me just adjust this. And here under the node graph, what you want to do is right click and then add alpha output. Now you can see what we have here. We have this blue thing. Now we can connect the blue square to the blue alpha output. Next thing would be to choose the qualifier. Click on that green. Now everything is here on the phone is green and we lost pretty much all the footage. I'm going to click on highlights and then just try to refine that green. So you can see that we have, so maybe you have something like this. Make sure you click on black and white. Now to remove the black, I can increase the white. Okay, make sure that this finger stays black. There we go, I think that's enough. I can increase the blur a little bit. Maybe the width of the green so I can get the last parts. Okay, now we have the perfect white. I can go back to normal and then click on invert this icon right here. So you can see we did a pretty good job, but we still have some problems with the green. Okay, so I can increase a little bit of the radius under the mat's finest, maybe to three. Maybe increase a little bit of iteration. Now we start losing the green, as you can see. And finally, I can go back to number one. In and out ratio, just drag it down. And as you can see, I think we lost all the green from the edges. If I click play. Now we can go back to the edit tab. Select the clip under and then just zoom out a little bit like this. Rotate it. Position up. Maybe just increase the zoom a little bit like this. There we go. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Bring it down. Oh, that was too much. You know, I'm just trying to adjust it to the phone. No need to do tilt. Okay, let's see now. I don't know why do we have green here. Let's zoom in like this. So if I play, you can see that it does not move. Okay. 
and that a good thing to use the chroma key if you don't want to use the the tracker but then we have this green here let's go ahead and try to fix it let me go back to highlights see what's going on clean whites not it So yeah, we just need to adjust a little bit of this saturation. And I think now it should be fine. And now if we play, you can see that we don't have this problem anymore. Okay guys, so small adjustment like this and trying to figure it out and solving problems can really help you with compositing in DaVinci Resolve.